Dear learners, hope all of you are fine and ready for today's class. Here we are going to learn from your Islam and Moral Education book of class 6. Hope all of you are ready with your text. I hope you have already learned about the lessons and contents of your book. You have 5 chapters in your book and first chapter is chapter 1, Akaid. Chapter 2, Ibadat. Chapter 3, The Learning of Quran and the Hadith. Chapter 4, Akhlaq. And last of all, Chapter 5, Ideal Biography. And here we are going to know about Chapter 1, Akaid. Akaid. Let's learn about it at first. Akaid is an Arabic word. It is plural meaning beliefs. Its singular term is akeda, which means belief. Belief or faith in the fundamental aspects of Islam is called akaid. It means to keep faith in Allah, prophets and messengers, angels, akhirat, takdeen, heavenly books, the hereafter, etc. So dear learners, I hope you have already kept your book in front of you and started to follow me. We are trying to know about Akhaid. So what does it mean? It means belief. We have also learned that Akhaid is a plural form of Akida. Akida means belief. Akhaid means beliefs. And belief or faith is the fundamental aspect of Islam. And belief in Allah, prophets and messengers, angels, akhirat, takdeer, heavenly books, the hereafter, etc. All are together shows faith and to keep that faith is called a kite. So, after it, let's see what we have more in the lesson. At the end of this chapter, we will be able to describe the idea of a kite. Explain the idea with significance and importance of keeping faith in Tawhid. Tawhid means monotheism. That means Allah is only one. Recite in correct pronunciation and explain Kalima Taiba and Kalima Shahadat with meaning. So in this chapter we will have more about Kalima Taiba and Kalima Shahadat. Recite in correct pronunciation and explain Iman Mutmal, the synopsis of faith. Explain Al Asmaul Husna and refer to a few attributes of Allah. Explain the idea of Risalat with reference to introduction of prophets and messengers and the necessity of their arrival and importance of. Faith in Risalat. Analyze the idea, importance and phases of Akhirat. Analyze the importance of Akhaid in developing morality. So all are these we are going to learn in this chapter. Now let's turn to lesson 1. Lesson 1, Tawhid. Meaning of Tawhid. Tawhid is an Arabic word. In English, this means monotheism. Tawhid or monotheism is to believe that Allah is one and the only. He is the only one to create, sustain and provide livelihood. 
is the only deity ila such faith is called such faith in allah is called tawhid so tawhid means believe in allah and believe that allah is one and the only and also believe that he is the only one to create to sustain and provide livelihood and all these are only that we are having everything are only provided by him he is the only deity and this faith this such faith is called tawhid dear learners i hope you will remember the meaning of it now let's learn about identity belonging now let's learn about identity of allah allah is one and the only he is not the only one as an entity but also unique in attributes it means allah the almighty is one he has no equal he is not begotten by anyone nor is anyone begotten by him so allah is only one he created everything but he is not begotten by anyone and no, no no one is begotten by him so he has no relative or he has he is not born okay so allah is always unique and he is the only one as an entity allah is the almighty one he has no equal and this is the identity of allah allah is also unique in respect of qualities he possesses all the excellent qualities he is eternal ever alive and the truth he creates sustains protects rewards punishes etc he has no partner none is equal or comparable to him nothing can be compared to his qualities you see his it is capital he himself is his comparison so no no one is comparable to him and here what we see we we see that these are all about allah and this description are about him to know about him and the most important thing is he has no partner this information is the most important aspect of our iman none is equal or comparable to him so allah is only one he is one and only this is the most important to know, remember and to know to have faith in allah dear learners now you will learn about significance of tawhid we can see various kinds of things around us there are beautiful fruits flowers trees creepers animals birds etc besides there are rivers creeks hills mountains woods forests oceans and seas furthermore we have the first sky the sun the moon stars planets etc there are organisms and objects that we cannot see with bare eyes all these are parts of the creation this couldn't have been created without a creator a creator must have created this and that creator is almighty allah he has created everything all by himself he didn't need any assistant everything comes into being as soon as he says be when he orders be then everything is created he has created everything in the universe for the welfare of mankind humans derive benefit from this by applying their wisdom and intelligence therefore 
Man should express great gratefulness to his Creator. He should be loyal to only Allah and worship Him. None can be made his partner in the matter of worship. Welfare and success in this worldly life and life in the hereafter can be achieved through obedience to Tawhid or monotheism. Dear learners, so I hope you will read it again and again to learn about the significance of Tawhid. And there are some more importance of faith in Tawhid, instance of belief in Tawhid and all will be very much helpful to know about the to, to learn more about Allah uh, last of all I want to say that if you are in class the students of the class will be divided into two groups one group will speak about the nature and significance of Tawhid the other group will speak about the importance of Tawhid with an example so I hope Dear learners, you will read the lesson again and when we, we will be in the class, we will try to present the activity related to the task. That means I will divide the class into groups and one of the group will describe about the nature and significance of the hit and another will speak about, the other group will speak about the importance of the hit with example. So dear learners, I hope this lesson is going to be very much helpful to know about Allah and Tawhid. That's all for today. Hope to learn more about the next lesson in our next classes. Till then, till then, re keep reading and be safe. Thank you.